Marsha Michelson's parents met in high school when Owen Michelson, being his usual prankster self, planted a stink bomb in Cassandra Goth's locker. To his surprise, she had a very good sense of humor about it, resulting in the two forming a crush on each other. The crushes carried on into young adulthood. Owen, who always wanted a big family, was quick to propose to Cassandra as soon as he could. Marsha, on the other hand, couldn't imagine being with one scene for her whole life, so she is determined to make sure that she plays the field a little before settling down, and Molly's pre-prom party was the perfect place to find her dating candidate. Let's see, maybe Kevin? We've never met him before. Alright. Kevin, what's up, my friend? I don't think I noticed how cute Kevin was before now. This is good. We have good compatibility with Kevin, which is a nice sign. Our buddy's ties back so home. Let's see. I think Marsha would open up about her unfair life because she's catching a vibe with Kevin right now. Yep, yeah, she's just feeling emo. Molly turns on the TV. <laughs> Has a laugh. Okay. Oh, and now we're crying. Let's see. Okay, Kevin responded pretty well to that. So prom is starting, but Marsha is not feeling ready to go to prom, so we're actually going to skip it. She doesn't want to go to prom and all this like mask outfit and stuff like that, and she doesn't really know anyone and she doesn't have a date. So she doesn't want to go even though she hung out with everyone before prom. Oh man, our prom cowpoke didn't sell before prom. Well, we know that Kevin's a romantic. Well, let's see if we can convince him to skip prom and go for a date with us instead. I guess first we should ask if he's single, oh, but Kevin is single and he disappeared into the coffee table. I guess he wanted to go to prom after all. Instead of going to prom, Marsha is back at the community center. She's going to do a quick shower. What? Why is it making her take a bath in this outfit we're trying to sell? I guess we're cleaning it up before selling it again. We're on neutral variety, but let's just try selling it again. Maybe it was a little bit too ambitious, so I will just go with double the amount. So we're going to put it at 560. Looks like Marsha finished her puzzle. Oh, framing it is $45. Let's at least share it to Simstagram. All right, time for bed. Marsha woke up feeling disassociated, but we only have 10 minutes left of it. My goodness. Otherwise, I think it's a great time for her apparently to dump garbage on the ground. <laughs> it's not what I was going to say. It's a great time for her to actually meet up with Kevin. We're now at Kevin's house. We're going to have a little knock and see if he'll go on a date with us. All right, there he is. Um, let's just do a little discuss interests first. We learned he's socially awkward. Feeling quite playful, so maybe we can get away with some slap him silly and things. <laughs> My gosh, this kid needs to not be watching right now. Okay. We're good friends already. Ask on a date. Here we go. Okay, kid, you need to get lost. Perfect. He said yes. Now we need to get food. I think there is food at the pier, so we'll go to the park nearby. All right, let's get over here. I think we can get some food. Yes, perfect. We'll get a corn dog. Classic. Ooh, Raheem. Okay. I think Raheem could be a potential next date for us. A little intro to him while we're here. Okay, that didn't go well at all. But uh, we're here with Kevin anyway, so let's try make a flirtatious joke. Silly, silly! Whoa, where did you come from? Okay, you what? Okay, you're gone again. I was gonna say she was at the prom party, so we actually should be going on a date with her too, but we never got to meet. So if she materializes again, I'm just saying if she's maybe somewhere else here. Oh yeah, there she is. A lot of teens here as well. And also her dad came. Okay. Well, obviously we would go out of our way to avoid our dad as a runaway. So hopefully they doesn't come over here. There you go. Yeah, go sit with him. Very nice. It's really it's just three people hanging out for this date. Also, it looks like our illness has taken a full swing and we're complete spirals at this point. 
All right, attempt to seduce while feeling extremely ill. <laughs> is he even into it? Yeah, okay, he is. He is. Do a little sexy pose, perhaps. She really wants to do her homework. Yeah, they're doing their homework very intimately together. Peak flirting, I think. And there we go. We got our gold date. We have to be so bad. Just finish your homework and we can go. Is there no bathrooms here? Okay, she's doing a pit stop at the library in Copperdale to use the washroom. We have our date completed. We do need to start a fight as well. Oh no, and our dad is here. All right, we gotta leave immediately. Okay, Marsha just narrowly escaped running into her dad. She's just gonna finish up her homework. Homework is complete. Yo. You know, I think it's time that she cleans up some of this stuff around here. She has the rest of the evening to herself. Oh, There's a nice little dumpster over here. Let's see what she can get done. All right. She's made a lot of progress in cleaning up. Obviously, there's some big stuff that she can't do anything about. She was interrupted by Nina Caliente wanting to buy her prom cowpoke outfit. That's great. We can make some money here. We'll ship it off. And we hit level two of the entrepreneur oh, skill. Shit. It's perfect because that helped us with skill day. I also forgot about the messaging part of this. Savannah thinks we should do guitar. Cute. Aw, Philip's also being cute to us. <laughs> Not Judd saying, I'm so glad I have a friend like you. Ugh, our enemy. <laughs> Your follower count and you are the same, a big zero. Okay, I didn't realize Olivia was also our enemy. <laughs> a little cranky face for that. She also wants to add Raheem, who she met today and really hit it off with. She's going to send him a message. Wow, I didn't realize you could do this to really hit it off with them. If I do flirty, are they going to get a romance part? Wow, okay, so after a night of texting, they're at the max of their relationship. During their late night texting, Marsha mentioned that she likes to hang out at the community center, so she brought Raheem here. They're just going to be goofing around as two pals, too. Oh, got a little serious at the end there. She's going to casually ask if Raheem's single as well. And he is single. Wait, wait, wait. So Raheem just told us that the clown painting is haunted here? I wonder if that counts as an urban legend. Oh, let's view it together. This count as an urban legend? Let's see. All right, what do you think? Oh, now we're crying. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the clown. Can you come hang out with us too? Now is a good time to reveal our crush. Let's see. What do you think, Raheem? <laughs> Just laughs. All right. Oh. Sounds good. Can I even get like a sliver of romance between you two, or is it just only friends? Really, really confident, so we'll do a little bold pickup line. It's truly, I feel like this is a date that they're on right now. <laughs> oh. Cute. Nice. Okay, so I wanted to count as a date. I'm going to ask him on a date. Oh, there's one for a kiss. I just realized we didn't even kiss Kevin. Is Raheem going to be our first kiss? Okay. Okay, okay. I'm getting a little too excited here. Let's sit together. It's officially 2 a.m. at this point as well. So these two are like in for the long haul together. A little pickup line. Oh, well, he's flirty. No, she just has to be. And of course, there needs to be jokes with our date. Joke about old times, which is my yesterday. I guess you can joke about that when you're on your date yesterday. It's pretty funny. Inside joke. Oh, she's very flirty after having a joke with him. 
Uh, Damn. Uh, Amorous <laughs> exchange uh, from these little jokes. Okay, cuties. Oh, oh wow, that was pretty intimate, you two. Okay, <laughs> while you're feeling very flirty, let's go in for the kiss. What do you think? What is happening? Going through a phase, feeling rebellious <laughs> against parental authority. Well, that's fine. You're like not even, you don't even have parents at this point. Don't let that get in the way of your first kiss, girl. Let's go. All right. Happening. <gasps> Aww. So cute. Look at you two. Wowee, that sim is irresistible. Owen Jr. has a major crush on Raheem. Well, no kidding. Wow. Again, attempt to seduce his come up. So let's try. <laughs> yeah, is that working? Nice. Okay, okay. Let's snuff you two. Time for some food. Well, it's five in the morning, so I think it makes sense that they'd be leaving now. It was still a gold medal date. Let's get out of here. Oh wow, we just became good friends with Philip while we were sleeping. So I guess uh, maybe social media did that. <laughs> right, we are awake and we want to ask Kevin to be our boyfriend. Oh, after having our first kiss last night with somebody else. Nuko. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, that's messy. <laughs> Alrighty. All right, we are having a date with Kevin. <laughs> we are going to ask him to be our boyfriend. It's quite interesting. Uh, we're just going to have it here at the queer cafe that I built. <laughs> There's also apparently a gathering spot for my trans teens, which I totally forgot about. So Philip will be here for that. On the plus side are going on a date five times counts with the same sim again. So at least the drama will be working with that. Nice. We got our friend of me here. We got Judd. We got Billy Yang. We got Elsa Bergson in the back. We got Haku here. We got Hank. And Philip. Whole squad is here. Yeah, maybe sit with your potential future boyfriend if he says yes. <laughs> Talk about marriage. All right, girl. <laughs> It's an awkward encounter, don't say. Let's see, should we blow him a kiss? I don't know, it feels weird to kiss him like we just had our first kiss with somebody else like 12 hours ago. Let's see, he's feeling very confident. Let's just go for it before we lose it, honestly. Whoa, look away for one second. Y'all are kissing necks? Okay, Kevin. <laughs> we still haven't had our first kiss, though. He's only kissed our neck. Here we go. Asked to be boyfriend. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> interesting reaction. Yep. So Kevin is our boyfriend. Very nice. Even an awkward encounter because our friend joined. Marsha is just down in the bathroom feeling extremely confident having gotten her first boyfriend. And now is the time that she wants to confront Judd about copying her social media post. Here she goes confronting them. And that ends our date with Kevin. We spent it talking to Judd instead. It looks like Kevin went home. Things are getting pretty heated between these two. All right, now that she's confronted Judd, she's ready to head back home. Let's get some sleep. And of course, it's raining. So Marsha's going to take some refuge at Thrifty. Perfect. Over at Thrifty, it's not raining. Say hi to Eloise over here. At this point, Marsha's become a frequent customer at Thrifty and even helped Eloise when it came to pranking the toilet. At this point, Eloise has definitely noticed Marsha's passion for fashion. And given their closer relationship, Marsha actually feels comfortable being able to talk to Eloise about her identity. She's going to tell about orientation and identity. Yeah. 
Jumping Koba. He's in a row. Oh, Gosha. That went really well. Which makes Marsha feel even more comfortable shopping for women's clothing. Now we're just going to see what the latest trends are. Look at me actually remembering to check the trends. So, looks like rocker trend is high right now. Okay, here we go. I'm thinking the statement piece will be these pants. Ooh, they even come in yellow. And these shoes, I feel like could be contrasting color. We're going for a little bit of a clown rocker, if you will. Ooh, and tie in the purple again, okay. I feel like a teenager would wear this, right? I don't know how rocker it looks with these colors, but. All right, here we go. This is our clown rocker. Total cost is only 170 bucks. Okay, I don't know how fast the trend has changed, so I'm gonna try and be a little bit quicker with this, but we are gonna wear it. Wow, quite the look. And then I'm just gonna spam promote current look. Wow, look at all these decreases. What are we at? Still neutral. I was told that we should ignore the decreases and that if it's the trendy thing. All right, at this point, our hygiene's real low in this rocker look, which might be adding to the authenticity, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm not seeing the hype go up, and I would have used this like a hundred times this promote look thing. So let's just give it a shot and sell them. I'm going to try and get 500 bucks for it. Kevin's calling. Oh, he wants to go on a date. Okay. Now we want to sit and chat. I think there's like card games up here. Let's go do this together. We're letting this random man uh, interrupt our date as we play some cards together. Sure we do want to be playful. Yeah. So we're playful, but he's Varric. still flirty. Ab we'll slap him silly to try and get him. Okay, he does not want to get anything besides flirty right now. Oh, what the heck? Just teleported downstairs. What is with this game? Okay, so there's some aliens at the bar tonight because it's alien night. Obviously, Marsha is extremely mad at aliens right now because her mother was abducted. This is her trying to confront the aliens who potentially took her mom. Gonna do some acting tough at this alien. Why is this alien so much tall? Oh, there's like a platform. <laughs> okay. Marsha's being a little bit too forward with the way that she's asking about her mom. Even though we're getting a, re a reveal that this alien's actually good. Marsha will not let up. Marsha's extremely convinced that this alien would at least know where her mom was, if not be the one that took her to begin with. At this point, the alien's leaving the bar, and Marsha's also going to go home and get some sleep. It's a new day and time to go to school and then the summer vacation is over. Marsha's at school early today. One, she's starving. And two, she's actually going to do a little change. And she's going to shave her facial hair while at school. On top of that, she's going to use the shower. Shave her arm hair as well as her leg hair. Marsha's been feeling a lot more confident ever since she told Eloise about her gender and her, her sexuality thoughts lately. Dating Kevin as well, having a boyfriend is something that she never thought she'd be able to do. She's getting more confident as she continues to on her fashion journey as well. Not her shaving with the outfit on. <laughs> wow. What's more rocker than that? I don't know. Here she is looking all fresh faced now. And in our second class, we get to sit next to our buddy Philip. Marsha really wants to tell Philip about her orientation as well. She also wants to have a conversation about how she's been questioning her sexual orientation. Nice, of course Philip says that they understand because they're part of the community too. I didn't know there was a little pop-up to this, so Marsha says, er, don't forget, you, but I think I'm not so sure about what type of students I'm attracted to in terms of gender, I mean. And then Philip is saying back, it's okay, be open-minded and find out. It's cute. Don't worry so much, see where it takes you, love is love after all. After this conversation Perfect, with Philip, Marsha's feeling very close well. to them, so we're gonna make them our best friend. Ooh, we want to chat with our crush. Uh oh, here we go, besties. All right, let's try and do. Why don't us do a prank on one of these lockers? I don't know if it matters if there's people in the hallway that'll see it. Oh no, that kind of blew up on us. All right, nothing like talking to your crush after you explode a stink bomb on yourself. Oh my gosh, not us coming here at the same time as Raheem's dad's too. All right, let's do it. 
Oh, and Grandma coming out. I think we're gonna beeline straight past the whole family and then go into Raheem's room here. Okay, let's just do a little joking around, perhaps. Show off our muscles, maybe. Crush nearby, I don't know, we're embarrassed from that? Oh my gosh. Now you want to ask Kevin about his day? You're a messy girl. We came all the way here to talk to Raheem, and now she's embarrassed and she wants to go talk to Kevin instead. So we're actually here at the comedy night at Thrifty because Marsha needs to clear her head, be a little bit less embarrassed, and immediately decides to perform her own amateur comedy routine. Alright girl, get it. Philip wants Marsha to join the Parrotfish Teens, which is the group that they're a part of. So of course we'd love to be part of the group with our bestie. I'm picturing this routine to be solely around her awkward interaction she's just had and telling a little bit of comedy around having a boyfriend that she's never kissed and a crush that she's had her first kiss with without her boyfriend knowing. So these are the drama teen diaries here. What do you think? Wow. Uh, this woman loved it. Now that Marsha's really made herself comfortable in the thrifting scene, she's officially okay with making the decision to go under her gender affirming care and transition decisions, doing a non-medical transition decision, and deciding to switch from mass to feminine clothing. So now she has my true clothing preference, Marsha feels good about having decided to publicly show herself more truthfully through a change of clothing. She has decided to embrace her preferences for difference differently or more gender from a wardrobe. Her cast clothing preference will reflect that. Time for Marsha to put together some new outfits. All right, so we have Marsha's everyday. Got to change into this, keeping her favorite colors. We've got a little trans flag involved in here. Obviously, she's super excited to also have her nails painted. And she's got a little bit of makeup on. I was trying to make sure she still looked quite young, uh, which can be difficult in this game, in my opinion. And then for hot weather wear, since it's pretty warm for us, this is the one where I feel like she looks a little bit older. I think it's the top, but I'm going to keep it for now. Gun fun nails, she had her toenails, matching her little sandals there. And this is what she had before for her hot weather wear. So of course, the first line of business is going to be to show off our new outfit to Eloise here. <laughs> Sitting down to do that. <laughs> And she loves it. What a good supportive person that we have in our life here. And Haku Winters is wearing another one of her outfits. Okay, I'm going to try this again. First of all, we're going to go give props to him for the sick fit. And then we're going to try and compliment it again. Alright, here we go. Flirtation. Compliment appearance. We're very playful. I don't know. Oh, Haku's into it this time. Okay. Oh no! And now we have a crush on Haku too. Interesting. Oh, it looks like he has a crush on us as well. So now they each have crushes on each other. Which I mean, isn't that what being a teenager is all about? Just complimenting somebody one time and now you both have huge crushes. Alright, it's time for Marsha to head to bed. It's been a big episode for her. She had her first kiss, her first boyfriend. She's come out and told people about at least questioning her identities and gotten into wearing feminine clothing as she prefers. So tomorrow at school will be her first day wearing feminine clothes to school and seeing how it feels. That's it for today's episode. And next episode, we'll have to start working on the fighting and as well as some urban myths. So if you're subscribed, I'll see you next week with that.